Hi YouTube family, a special good night to each and every one of you. Hope you had a wonderful day today. It was raining all day today for us and I was in the mood of something very warm and comforting. I was thinking soup, but then I changed my mind and I said, you know what? I can make some smoked herring fish cake and some dal and rice and a few different vegetables on the side that would comfort me so well on this rainy rainy day today so to make the smoked herring fish cake i want to share this recipe with you all it is delicious it is lovely as any side dish and if you're a big fan of smoked herring and you don't like that strong smoky flavor I just have the perfect recipe for you all. So let me show you how I made these and what I'm pairing them up with today. First, we're gonna start with preparing our smoked herring. I usually get the boneless and headless one. There is no skin or anything. I'm gonna give this a good rinse and then I will boil it to get out all the excess salt from it. In the pan, I added my smoked herring with some water. I'm gonna boil it out for 30 to 40 minutes to get out most of that saltiness from the fish. So while my smoked herring is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and peel three potatoes. This is like a pound of potato. And we will use this to bind our smoked herring for the smoked herring fish cake. So I'm gonna go in with my potatoes, add it to a pot with water. Turn the stove on. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the potatoes and I will cook them until they're nice and tender. After boiling the smoked herring, I drain the water and leave it to cool for a bit. I like to put mine into a Nutribullet so I can crush up all the tiny fine bones that I have inside. At this point, there is no high salt content, but in this way, I will be able to crush up all those bones. For those who don't like this very strong flavor of smoked herring, this is one way that you can enjoy it by adding some potatoes and make it to a smoked herring fish cake and the flavor will be a little less strong. So this is the texture that I'm looking for. You can do it in a coarser texture or a fine texture as you prefer but I just went as finely as I can and in no time at all, all the bones from the smoked herring is finely grind up. So anybody can eat this up to a child because you don't have to worry about the bone anymore. I usually fry mine up with some nice fresh seasoning and some tomato and then I'll eat it on the dal. But today I'm gonna change it up for those who can handle the strong flavor of the smoked herring. So these are the ingredients I'm gonna use in my smoked herring fish cake. I have some red onions, white onion can work too, but I just like the color of the red onion in the fish cake. I have here some green onions, a hot pepper. I have some cilantro, which have a nice limey kind of flavor for this fish cake. I'm gonna go in now and I'm gonna finely chop my ingredients, starting with my green onions, and I will chop my onions at the very last because that will make me tear up and I will save my tear for last. So my potatoes are nice and soft. I can see from right at the end how they are breaking apart and I know that they're done. I'm gonna drain the potatoes and then we're gonna start preparing our smoked herring fish cake. So, we're gonna go in and mash the potatoes while they're still hot. And you can see how nice and soft they cook. I don't even have to press too much and the potatoes are mashing quickly. We're gonna add our smoked herring to the potato. So after finally chopping all my ingredients, I'm gonna mix the ingredients in with the potato and the smoked herring. It smells nice already. So, so nice. Mm -mm -mm. You guys are gonna love this. I love smoked herring. 
even when I buy it from the store and I get the smell of that smoke herring, I just be drooling until I cook it. Or when I hold the pack of the smoke herring and that smell left on my hand, I can't resist that beautiful smell of smoke herring. So to really work in the ingredients, the potato and the smoke herring, I like to go in with my hand and give it a nice mix so we can really incorporate our ingredients along with the potato and the smoke herring. So now we're gonna go in here and make some small little fish cakes. You can do ball, you can do any shape of your choice. Today I'm gonna go like this. It's easy and the potato help to bind your smoke herring. I'm gonna roll these off and then we will come back and start frying them. So I have it all rolled off here now and because I love the flavor of smoke herring, I add less potato into mine. But if you would like to mellow it down some more, you can add more potato or you can add half and half. I'm using a quick egg batter to fry the smoke herring fish cake. The eggs will give it a thin, crispy layer on the outside, but of course you can use any batter of your choice. Fry them until they're nice and brown. Drain and they will be ready in no time. And here they are, nicely done, ready for any side dish of your choice. So my friend, this is what my dinner look like. Here is my smoke heron fish cake and I want to show you all. Look at that. Oh my gosh, my happy moment here. And the smell is amazing. And this plate here have protein. There is everything on this plate. There is happiness, there is joy, there is pumpkin I have here. I have some achar, mango achar some baby spinach sauteed in garlic, coconut oil, and a pinch of salt. And I have my nice plate of dal and rice and my smoked herring fish cake. What else can you ask for on a rainy, rainy day? These are the food that make me happy. So I'm gonna go in here first of all for a bite of the fish cake on its own. Mmm, that mouthful. And for all the viewers out there, mm, mm, mm. amazing on its own. You can eat it like a snack that way. And all those who are interested in other kind of fish cake, I have numerous fish cake recipe on my channel. I have salt fish cake, regular fish cake. I have um, tuna fish cake and all the fish cake you can think of, I have them. I'm gonna go in for some of the spinach. Mm, 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 with the achar. Guys, I wish if you can taste what I'm tasting. And the pumpkin, achar again. And this other mouthful for all my vegetarian friends. Mm, mm, mm. And the fish cake. Wow, smoked herring, dal and rice, and fish cake. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I can stand here, mix up, and eat for each one of you. One mouthful each. But I don't want to keep you back to watch me eat all this food. So this is one with everything inside. I'm going to take a grand big mouthful here. It's so delicious, so much flavor is coming through. So much to offer on this plate. You can make everyone happy in your home. Mm -mm -mm. Let me know what you're having today. I hope you like this recipe for my smoke herring fish cake. This is another one of my creative recipes. I hope you will give it a try. I do have something on the plate for my vegetarian friends and my non-vegetarian friends. Hope I'll get a thumbs up for this video. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, we hope you'll consider subscribing soon. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.